been it's been awesome. I think everyone's commented that you know we've we've had um, the female players coming in and using the gym and things like that already. And oh, I think it's a, it's a new challenge, new club for for all of us playing in the team, and um, you know they, you know enjoy the attention on you and really you know embrace it and everyone. So they're looking for people to talk to. They're wondering where I am. They're excited. <laughs> No reporters here yet. Surprise. I charged my phone earlier so it's fully ready to go and take all the phone calls from the media. Driveway's still clear so plenty of room for media when they rock up. Is it cocky to write? Can't wait to see Deb go at number one. <laughs> Already got four likes for that one. Young girls or whoever it is that wants to do something a bit out. Wasn't that an inspirational start to this very exciting day? And I can't believe it. We've got standing room only, guys. What a turnout! Thank you so much for being here. There are, might be. A couple I know of they're very excited to see me. Who has the potential to go the distance? It's such an exciting day as we find out who joins your AFLW club and we get to meet the next generation of AFLW stars. And we wish you all the best. Thank you. I'm ready Drawing to go. Stage a little later, some of the stuff. Can't wait. Have you got any tips for today? Um, uh, I'd say probably Nina Morrison for number one, but we'll see about that. She's a gun player and a uh, great person Deb. as well, so I guess we'll find out in a couple of minutes, but uh, we'll see how, how it unfolds. There's always a few, um, you know, mixed bags and a few surprises, so it'd be interesting to see. I know. Best of luck to Nina, of course. And they will be looking for somebody, I think, who will stay at the club for a really long time and build that Geelong base. Not well, it depends. <laughs> uh, it's not my job. <laughs> a few local Deb. players might slip through there, Rusty, I think. Yeah, I, I think, think so. I think they'll be looking, like I said. Well, I think it's going to be um, it's going to be interesting. We'll, we'll probably see a local player go up number one. Nina Morrison's name's been around for a little while now. But it Wouldn't might be media. She's up there in one of the first two selections. Uh, but Geelong do have a definitely. Um, someone who could go on the inside and maybe just... Once approved, those picks will be announced by a player representing their club and displayed here on the main stage screen to our right. Each club will be permitted. Hope for our clubs, and I see our coaches sitting here, nervously waiting to come up to announce their, their picks. For the clubs, it's the possibility of selecting great young talent who just might be the best and next Daisy, or Darcy, or Erin, or Katie, or in fact, the, ve the best version of or themselves. Deb. It's also about opportunity for the young Damn. players in this room who get the, the... With pick number one, the Geelong Football Club selects from the Geelong Falcons, Nina Morrison. Fantastic. Congratulations, Nina, and thank you very much, Paul. Number two, for sure. From the Greater Western Victorian Rebels, Sophie van der Heuvel. Congratulations to Sophie and thank you very much to Paul. The Carlton Football Club selects from the Calder Cannons, Maddie Presparkus. Here comes number four, don't you worry, it's coming, it's coming. Fremantle Football Club selects from the Claremont Women's Football Club, Jasmine Stewart. With pick number five, the Collingwood Football Club selects from the Casey Demons, Jordan Allen. Number six was always one of my favourite numbers. Tyler Hanks. With pick number seven, the Geelong Football Club selects from the Melbourne University Football Club, Rebecca Webster. With pick number eight, the Adelaide Football Club selects from the South Adelaide Football Club, Nikki Gore. With pick number nine, the Brisbane Lions Football Club selects from the Cooparoo Women's Football Club, Paige Parker. With pick number 
10, the Western Bulldogs selects from the Sandringham Dragons, Eleanor Brown. Brown. Number 11, the Collingwood Football Club selects from the Oakley Chargers, Katie Lynch. Pick number 12, GWS select from the Faguna Bulldogs Female Football Club, Elise Parker. Where's the Guna? I'm starting to wonder if they didn't get my application. Next round, surely I'll be number one of the second round. With pick 15, the Melbourne Football Club select Madeline Brand Catasano from Northern Knights. This is the one. With pick 48, the Adelaide Crows Football Club select Danielle Ponta from St Mary's Football Club. With pick 50, the Fremantle Football Club selects Paris Laurie from Claremont Football Club. Happy to move. With pick 50, the Collingwood Football Club select Jordan Membry from Wilston Grange Amateur Football Club. Pass? Why would they pass? I'm still here! Thank you all for coming. For those who tuned in live as well via the AFL Live app, afl.com.au, Twitter and Facebook Live. We look forward to seeing you all again soon at many of these games come February. Thanks very much for your time. Hello, is this Hotmail? Yes. I would like to speak to a supervisor. I don't think my email address has been working correctly. Hello, is this Telstra? Yes, I would like to speak to a supervisor. I don't think my phone has been working correctly. Hello, is this Australia Post? Yes. Yes, I'll hold. I would like to make a complaint as I don't think the mail is working correctly. Hello, is this the AFLW? I'm looking to make a complaint as I don't think that your website is working correctly. Today didn't go quite as according to plan. It seems as though there were some issues that were out of my hands. But that's okay. I'll probably get picked up number one in free agency. Or there are top up players too. Surely I'll get drafted. Either way, it's okay. My name's Deb, and I want to be the number one draft pick for the 2020 AFL Women's Season. <laughs>